What's happening, fam? L.A. All Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below as usual. This video is entitled Some Black Women Are Trying. I made videos in the past, you know, I didn't see sisters working out. I didn't see sisters uh, taking care of themselves. I, I didn't see, I, I saw sisters who were very combative. Um, but, you know, I do, you know, I have seen sisters trying. And I'm going to give, I'm going to acknowledge those women, those types of women, you know, whether they're doing it, even when they're doing it in a loud manner and in a quiet manner. Because being a black man, I know we don't get credit for shit. So, and I know women are, are, are more so weak-minded than men. So, you know, so I tell, you know, so the ladies that are doing it, uh, who feel like they're by themselves, you know, I see you. What do I mean by this? I used to not see women working out, not see black women working out a lot. And, and now I'm seeing younger women who they like their young bodies and they like looking good and they want to maintain it. And I see older women who realize just because they're old, that doesn't mean they don't, they, that, 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 that gives them a, a pass to let themselves go. And you see, and I see them trying. And I, some, some women are in shape, some women are overweight and working themselves back into shape. No matter which one, I see you. I see you trying. Some of y'all are trying, so I'm gonna give you, give you credit where credit is due. Um, there are times when I go out and I go out and I, when I'm eating, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people who can be a health nut or a junk food nut. And I see sisters trying. I see sisters, you know, uh, not eating that he heavy stuff. I, there's, there's sisters out here that, that, that are eating healthy and that are drinking more water, that are doing those little, like, infused waters. I see that. You know, I'm going to give y'all credit where credit is due because that means you're taking into consideration your health, right? You, 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 you know, you know, um, that you need to be your best. Um, so I'm going to, you know, acknowledge them for trying. There are women out here who are battling to be more feminine because, from my opinion, just, just observing this, uh, Women have a hard time between being feminine, being masculine, and I guess in the middle would be, be slutty. Like they got the masculine thing down and they got the slutty thing down. But the women who are just trying to be feminine or dainty or whatever, dainty, I take that. They have a hard time because it's like they're bullied by the other two groups, you know, and they're on their own. Now, the women that are trying, I give them credit because, you know, guys are watching. We're watching y'all, you know, because we, we've been around enough women to know that some women fake it just to get somebody, and it's not really in them. They wait till they, wait till they snag a guy, and then they revert back to being, either, you know, slutty or masculine. And guys hate that, you know, because if you want to be around a, a, a feminine woman, you want her that being her, her being feminine is what you, what attracted you to her. To get the bait and switch thing, the older you get, you don't want that at all. And that's why some older women, milfs, and even grandmas, in some ways are attractive because they're ladylike. I'm not saying we'll date grandmas, but I'm saying they, you know, their energy is attractive to us because they're so ladylike. You know, and we see, and we see that they are a minority for their group. You know, so you got to give credit where credit is due because nowadays being ladylike for, for for sisters is going against the grain. Um, the other thing, I've seen sisters who either are are childless women. Who, who make sure they make the statement, I'm not having kids unless I'm married. Or the woman who've had a child 
or it may be children, and but they, and they'll say, "I know my value is is less because I have kids, but uh, I know I can't do this alone." Whether they they they're actively um, co-parenting with their with their children's father, or if their their father's not in the picture, or doesn't want to be in the picture, they're actively understanding that you know. I'm going to have to make some sacrifices for a man to be with me and I'm going to have to, to actually uh, be appreciative that this guy is willing to take on more of a responsibility than he had, has to because of my situation. Because uh, just the acknowledgement of that is what I'm giving credit for. Uh, because you see some sisters are trying. You know. In, in, in the... In the uh, um, in a smaller sense, I also see that a lot of sisters have made it have made it difficult for guys to approach them for for years. You know, you can still approach, but what I mean is, you know, unnecessarily unnecessary uh, animosity when when getting approached just for no reason. I see some of you ladies actively trying to get that attention back and understanding that, you know, um, the black female stereotype is giving y'all a bad rap. So you want guys to approach you, but you know guys are hesitant because it's like, eh, eh, I'm going to watch a little bit before I say hello, you know. And you see, and, and I like it because now they can take that and they understand why. And they also understand, you know, just sometimes the guys are just saying hello. It's not everybody's trying to get your number. Not everybody's trying to have sex with you. Some people just see you and acknowledge you. The same way we see brothers and we acknowledge brothers. You know, we go from seeing each other for a little bit. You know, I ain't going to say it's sizing each other up, but just giving each other a space. And one day, you know, have, crossing paths, having a conversation, laughing, giggling. Next day, we just kicking it, chuckling it up. Same, you know, it's the same process. And I see sisters are open to, to recognize in that process, not like, oh, okay, okay, these guys aren't, um, everybody's not trying to, trying to screw me, even if you're attractive, you know. Some people already have a woman or women in their lives, so they don't really need to add you to the mix. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I can say hello to you, I can acknowledge you and, and see if you, uh, and tell you, you you look good today, or we can crack a joke together, and I see more women open to that. And I give you credit where credit is due, you know. Um, the other thing that how can I say this? I've I've seen more women who are feminine click up with more feminine women because you you know once upon a time you know ladies did act like they didn't understand birds of a feather flock together and have. And when you have those hodgepodge click of, you know, you say you're feminine and your your girlfriend's a thot and your other girlfriend's an overweight, angry motherfucker. <laughs> and, you know, y'all going out to have a good time together and, and one chick is negative. It's like, yeah. And now, you know, I see more of these women go out if, 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 um, the, the feminine crew hangs out together because I guess they get, they learn a lesson of not being around such negative people. So the positive people are hanging together more often and the negative people uh, notice, I notice they're going out less and less because they're too negative and don't know why they want to be around. So, got to give credit where credit is due. Um, the, 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 how can I say this? The coup de grace to this is for some of you ladies who I do see who have daughters and sons, children in general, but the ones who have daughters in particular that do their damnedest to make sure their daughters are feminine all the time. You know, they don't care if they get bullied in school. They don't care if people hate them or whatever. They make sure their daughters, they train their daughters to be ladies. I see that effort. Uh, you know, much respect to that. Um, the ones with the sons, uh, I give y'all. I, I see y'all too because y'all realize that you can't raise your 
son to be a captain. You you start telling them the truth about interacting with females. You, they, you can't save them. You can't save them all. Everybody's not worth that. You don't you don't um, undervalue yourself and overvalue her. You know that type of behavior. I see that too. You know. So this video is like you know I see some of y'all. Like I mean y'all the majority you know, but at the same time. I'm glad to see y'all still out there. So, we out, y'all. Peace.